Sorry about that guys, I got cut off because the connection here sucks. Even though we have great internet, we have shitty connections. But, like I was saying guys, you know, like, you know, as you guys just heard, like, I can do different voices. Um, like I said, I can also do Majin Buu, like, You mean so mad! So mean cute to him! See, I can do stuff like anime characters like Majin Buu. Um, I've even come up with some custom, you know, original voiceover designs. Like this one right here. This one also involves this. It, it just, when I do it, it gives it that bit of an echoey, deep sound. Like, and this is actually a. Not really a Jedi character, but it's more or less of a Star Wars character that I kind of developed over the years. And I actually managed to finally create him on IMVU, which if you guys don't know what IMVU is, it's a 3D chat program where you create your own custom character and all that good stuff, and I kind of created him off of that. And his name is Darth Roku, even though he was... Even though he has the name Darth Roku, he's not really a Sith. He's more or less like right in between. So like, let me like do that for you guys. See what you guys think. My name is Darth Roku. I'm not a Sith, nor a Jedi. And if you wish to fight, then fight me. But I can promise you. It is no easy task to win against me, boy. So you see, like, I can do many different style, you know, voiceovers. And believe it or not, I kind of developed all the skills I have now over that period of time. Like, just over the years of, you know, watching anime... Which, if you guys don't know, I'm a very, very avid, you know, anime fan. Like, I grew up on it. Everything from Dragon Ball Z and even Sailor Moon, surprisingly. And a lot of people give me shit about that. But Sailor Moon is one of the first animes. Actually, that is the first anime series that I had ever seen as a little kid. Like, that was, like, the first ever, you know, real North American released anime series that was released here in the U.S. from Japan. Like, that was the first anime that was imported into the U.S. that I actually got to see, which, right off the bat, I became a very big fan of. To this day, I still love it. It's a great series. Uh, if you're just getting into anime, I definitely, I highly suggest it for a starter. Uh, there's a lot of great anime series out there nowadays that would be great for starters. Like, um, if you're into, like, Dramatical Murder, um, that's a great one. I actually just recently started watching that. Huge fan of that so far. Um, Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online, Soul Eater, you know, all those. Huge fan of those. And the Gundam series, I love Gundam. Um, the one I got to see as a kid on Toonami was Gundam Wing. So, which I do own Gundam Wing and Gundam Wing Endless Waltz on DVD. As well as the entire series of Running Warriors. And the two um, not series of Running Warriors are like... It's like you have the regular series and then you have like a couple extra series discs of Ronin Warriors and then you have Ronin Warriors the message which is uh, Ronin Warriors the message is like the movie it's like the animated movie that they did before they completely cut Ronin Warriors off the air which sucks because they have new armor and I wish they would bring it back to you know show that new armor but you know Ultimately, you know, I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed this live stream. 
But like I said, Chad, I am going to check him out. For sure, I am going to check your friend out. So, you know, definitely hit me up, man. Like, if you guys know anybody. Um, and the only reason I have not gotten a hold of my friend Eric Stewart is because right now he actually is on tour with his band. He actually does music along with voice acting. So he's actually on tour with his band right now outside of the U.S. And stuff, so I can't really ask him. I mean, I'd love to work alongside him one day. Because, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! is definitely a big part of my childhood. I still collect cards and play by old school rules of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! is definitely a very big part of my childhood and still is to this day. Um, you know, there's a lot of anime series that are out now that, are, that have been out since I was a kid. Like, nowadays, like, I'll admit, sadly, you know, Pokemon, I'm kind of has on, you know, like, I, I respected it when it first came out. I actually own the first episode, the first three episodes of the first season of Pokemon ever on VHS when they first released. Listen to me, talking about VHSs, I'm old. <laughs> I'm 26, I'm old. <laughs> but like, you know, Pokemon, Digimon, um, all that good stuff. So, like, you know, I definitely have a very big plethora of knowledge about anime and, you know, the release dates of them. And, you know, like, they've, anime ultimately in general has played a very big impact in everything I do. Like, everything from my music. Like, a lot of it's very much anime inspired, especially some of my um, orchestra type stuff, like my violin and piano work. That's very much. You know, not only classically inspired, but also anime inspired from a lot of classic based anime series. Like, um, No Dame Cantabile. That's actually a classic based anime series. It's about this guy who is a pianist and this girl who actually does violin. And they wound up, you know, doing this orchestra together like it's a great series overall but anyways guys i'm gonna hop off here and let this charge because i have stuff i have to do and like i said chad i am gonna check your friend out so thank you buddy but with that being said guys i hope you guys have a bit of a more of an understanding as to the position that i'm in and how i got in this position that i'm in but with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.